You're gonna have to actually play some games against us before you can say anything like that, man. Tourzak, your name is really hard to read in the chat because it's like really glowy and stuff. Also, evidently you weren't paying attention because I didn't get four stocked. <laughs> anyway, Stephon versus Oracle, another very, very competent white player. Yeah, it's it's kind of like oh, yeah. I was gonna say something, but never mind. <laughs> Stefan with the Ken combo. That looked just nasty. Oh my gosh, Stefan, please, please, Stefan. <laughs> oh, that'll do it though. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Stefan. What do you? <laughs> I wish I could play Roy like this. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that is called a DI mix up. <laughs> he definitely forward tilted him uh, when Oracle was trying to DI away out of that combo. Alright, Oracle making some slip-ups here. Looks like he's sort of getting overwhelmed. <laughs> Up smash. Oh my gosh, he did downer. What what is going on? Stefan. Making look Oracle. Making the Oracle look like just. Okay, never mind. Oracle trying to shut me up here. He's trying to put some together. But the neutral game from Stefan is amazing so far. Bit of Robbie. Oh my goodness. Okay, Oracle. We're on the map. Ooh. Down throw, back air. Yeah, Stefan showing off some amazing Roy stuff in that match. And then Oracle not DIing the down throw properly, getting back aired off of it. Yeah, and some players get kind of predictable with like which one they use. Like Bastion really likes to do down throw, and I like to do forward throw a lot. But Cephalon uses them both very, very well. Oh, um, that could be death. Yes, it is. Oracle with a very, very nice ledge stall. Yeah, these Texas players, they. They know each other so well, so some of the matchups can be really volatile when just the, like the momentum swings in one player's direction or the other. Oh, nice counter. Won't do it though. Oh my gosh. So just six spike. Managed that forward there to uh, Flayblade Blade conversion. There was a time where Stefan didn't really do that, uh, and there were many a match where I would watch it and we're like, Stefan, that, that's a Flare Blade, not a, not a forward air. But now he's, he's put that into his arsenal. Every time that charge bat hits, it's 
It's just a, such a rough world for Roy. He gets comboed so easily. I mean, Lucas gets comboed pretty hard, too. Uh, you definitely saw a lot of that last game, but oh my gosh. There's very little Roy can do to get out of combos. He just basically has like a double jump and the side B stall. And some hitboxes. Wow, he still gets that back air. Uh, Lucas's double jump, it sort of like sends you a little bit downward before it sends you upward. So if you try to double jump to escape a combo with Lucas, it won't always work. Stefan at such a high percent that even a Nair will kill. Nair definitely designed as more of a combo move, but it has some knockback growth when it's needed. Hey, can, can you pass me that water? I think that's... I wonder if that's mine. It might be mine. Anyway, I'm thirsty. What? Oh, my mic was, uh... My mic wasn't down. Anyway. So I was taking a drink. One second. Yeah, this is definitely best of five. <laughs> first two, three. Yeah, those fighting game terminologies is like first three, you know. There was one time, a long time ago, where uh, Zeroic challenged me to uh, money mash. Or maybe it was, a, uh, maybe I challenged him. I think it was, maybe I challenged him. Anyway, he wanted to do it like a first to five, and I didn't re well, like really realize what that meant until a little bit later. Uh, so I mean, I agreed to it, but like, that was a best of nine. I'll never do a best of nine ever again. <laughs> Yeah, so many people I see just getting caught by Lucas Dare, Lucas Dare over and over and over again. And, you know, I'm guilty of my, myself occasionally, but, like, there are ways to get around that dare. I think uh, Cephalon probably meant to do like a runoff up air instead of an up smash, which just kind of stabbed into the air where no one was. Oof. When he just crouches and hunts for that downside or something, Cephalon is pretty darn scary, but, oh, unsafe forward air. You can space that so that it's safe on shield, I believe, but that was not one of the well-spaced forward airs. Oh! What? Oh! 
No, that was a pretty good tech by stuff on, but then he uh, spot dodged the wrong time and got hit by an up smash. Uh, generally, that's not very good for your health. Yeah, you can also uh, SDI Lucas' down there to the side so that the Lucas might not anticipate you suddenly being on the ground. To the left. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. 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 Okay. <laughs> and the run back. Cephalon saying, I don't like how that turned out, man. I can do better. Whoa. Double jump cancel back air after that missed aerial from Oracle. We'll take out Cephalon's first stock here in this game. This could be the game that sends Cephalon to losers. Um, not that Cephalon is, you know, he's no stranger to coming back from losers and just tearing everyone up, but he probably would rather not have to do that. Oh, nice space forward tilt. Wow, I, yeah, I'm continually surprised by uh, how far up and behind Roy that move hits. But Cephalon knows it so well, and he gets those dare kills all the time. People just aren't ready to meteor cancel it. Because if you miss the window, like, you're just gone. That thing is, like, as powerful get, as Ganondorf's dare. But, Oracle with a few things to say about this. Or the tech chase. Good down under air smash. Sith one now in a bit of an advantageous position, but Ooh, or Oracle flubs the follow-up, but down throw back air. We'll take out Seth one. Oh, we got a chain grab. I didn't know you could confirm a Dacus off the down throw if they DI it properly. Okay. Stefan. Yeah, playing the spacing game. Lucas has some nice hitboxes with his PSI stuff, but he does not have the disjoints that uh, Roy has. It's pretty tough to get it sometimes. Oh boy! Yeah, he didn't quite have the spacing down for the dare, and the backer definitely would have killed Roa there, but not quite the same sweet spot. He maybe didn't position himself properly in time. Ooh. And there it is. Yeah. Also, we have a bit of a... <laughs> like, the stream is a little bit delayed for us, we're, so we're commentating on things that are, like, a little bit behind of uh, what is actually going on right in front of us. Uh, so we so we get spoiled sometimes, uh, as far as who wins the game. We'll try to keep things at the regular pace, though. Oh. 
Alright, forward throw dash attack into back air. We'll put Solaris. Oh, okay, that was an interesting exchange. Yeah, ne um, with Ness's Pika Thunder to, you know, he has like nine frames of invincibility at the very beginning of it, but Lucas has no such invincibility, so you can challenge that a lot more easily than you can challenge uh, Ness's Pika Thunder too. Ooh, nice confirm into a backer for Oracle, putting him back within 32%. This is game five of Winners Finals. Each player fighting for their winner's bracket life. Good grab armor. Someone gets a nice string off that grab. And he will go super deep for those forward airs. He's like the only Roy that goes that deep for forward airs. And then gets back. <laughs> oh boy, Lucas. Oracle putting on the hurt. Oh! Nice choice of uh, forward tilt there. The sweet spot for forward tilt piece is very far out. Oh. And then speaking of down smashes, uh, Cephalon's down smash gets punished. But... Even right back up again, these two players super duper even. I don't know how many games they play, but it's way too many. So that was interesting. Uh, Stephon attempted to uh, do a let go of the ledge side B stall um, and attempt to maybe catch Oracle tethering back to the stage. It was a weird kind of option, um, and I don't know if I agree with it, but Stephon's in winners finals, I'm not, so what are you going to do? Oh, the counter. I'm surprised that didn't do more damage. I guess it's because uh, Lucas's Peak F102 has a multiple hit thingy-majig, and so if you counter one of the individual hits, it won't send you very far. Oh, the power shield into down tilt back air. Nice. Excellent conversion by Stefan. You have to have pretty good reactions to uh, get something off of a power shield like that. Stefan able to tech on the platform, saves him. Yeah, it's rare to see mistakes like that from Oracle, uh, especially you see all this magnet stuff he's doing where he's jump canceling it into you know, grabs, up airs, all this really cool stuff that Lucas gets to do. Oh, he gets the dash grab into the up air. Not quite. Cephalon's DI on point today. Cephalon will go pretty deep for that. <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cephalon. <laughs> I know. That ain't bizarre. Oh. Forward air, not quite Cephalon shield, especially that spacing. Oh my gosh, he crouch canceled like the sweet spot bear from uh, Lucas. That's that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but meanwhile, Oracle at very high percent. This could be trouble. Oh! Cephalon hunting him down, gets the back air, and that will be it. Cephalon moving on to grand final.